All right, guys, this is the cold snow you've been waiting for. Here we go. what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel so I got the car in front of me everyone's been telling me to make an update video on the car because if you know I got a lot of changes done and this car is nasty now a few things it's not fully tuned it, we are going through we got a check engine light because the exhaust uh, the RPMs are jumping a little bit so there are a few things going on that we need to fix I haven't even got on it full throttle yet First off, my tires are shot because I didn't align them. Always align your tires, get in alignment. But man, we, we've done so much to this car and I haven't showed you in a while. Been bringing you a bunch of racing content and such, but either way, I'm about to show you the car. Let's just say I put a lot of money into it. And if you just, if you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram down below. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't mind helping people and such. So I'm gonna give you guys a cold start at the end of the video i already recorded it so i'm gonna give you the cold start at the end this car sounds nasty you're gonna hear it you're gonna see it i'm gonna tell you everything i added and yeah i don't think you'll be disappointed so here we go here's the new car if you could do me a favor subscribe to the channel and like this video comment down below what do you think because shit, i spent a lot of money on this car you know so all right guys here we go you ready Look at that. As you can see, we do got a matching set of wheels now. They look sick. VMS Racing. We got the VMS Racing rear 17-inch with Hoosiers on them. I do need new tires. And then I just yesterday, today is Tuesday, just yesterday I put the new VMS fronts on. They do poke a little bit. They have a little bit of poke, but I actually think the stance looks sick. This car just looks so mean and vicious. I have a lot of people scared, that's for sure. But as you can see from the front, right away, we got the Holly High Ram sticking out the hood. Now, I do gotta do some more cutting. We got a little bit of duct tape. Don't, it's, I got a sound tube coming, or I got the uh, intake coming in without the sound tube. But uh, we gotta do a little cleaning up a bit and such. But let me know what you guys think of that. That looks sick. So. That is a ported Holly High Ram. And that is what took so long to come in. We'll keep going around the car. I'll pop the hood for you guys. I'll let you hear the car. Now, you might see back here, we ain't got no exhaust. Well, I decided because I am doing weight reduction on this car too, because I want this car to fly. I eventually, I want to get in the nines. I know this is easily a mid 10 second car, but I want to get into the nine. So with a little bit of weight reduction and some other mods, we could definitely do that. But uh, it's dumped. The exhaust is dumped in the middle of the car, just comes down. It sounds crazy. Like I love this car so much. Right there is just such a mean look. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you everything I added and Pretty much, this is a full Prey Performance car. Prey ported, Prey cam. Like I said, under here, not the cleanest. I got a new tube coming in because there was a sound tube here. I ended up deleting that. 
So as you can see, we added the ported Holly High Ram. We added the catch can. We added the ATI uh, underdrive pulley down there, 10%. We also added a Stage 3 Prey Performance Cam. The Stage 3 Prey Performance Cam is the biggest cam you could go without having to fly cut or do any of that, get aftermarket pistons. So I pretty much have the biggest cam you could get from Prey Performance right now. My engine bay is really dirty. Sorry about that too. This is going to be painted. I am going to paint this. Now, I really want to know your guys' thoughts on this. Now, we're going to paint the whole thing black with orange lettering, okay? And then we're going to do the brake calipers orange with, or uh, the brake calipers black with orange lettering. I think it'll look sick. So, like I said, we added the 10%, the Holly High Ram, the Catch Can, the Stage 3. We straight piped the car completely into dumps. We got new wheels and st oh, and a stall. I'm not sure the size of the stall, but it's definitely around a 4K stall. So I'm definitely going to be able to stall this car up. Pretty much, if you don't know what a converter slash stall is, is you know, say if I'm about I'm about to race, I could rev the car up to you know 3,000, 4,000 without the car moving. So then I launch at like 3,000, you know. Pretty much it helps the 60 foot, which is, sh these cars do not 60 foot for shit. So I wanna know what you guys think of all the mods. I think this car is awesome. I love how it came out, looks so good. Here is my Instagram, Frank underscore YouTube, YT. I am actually gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna cut this eventually. It's starting to get pretty cold out here, so we don't have too much more time, but I do got some big news. So, Prey Performance does tune this car, but they've been really, really behind. And so today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. We're dropping it off at next level tuning, and I'm not sure, it's somewhere in Joliet, I think. And we're dropping it off there. They're gonna work out the little kinks and such, and they're gonna tune my car, because I know Prey Performance is really backed up, and Prey Performance and next level, actually work pretty close together so i'll be tuned by next level for now and pray performance we're gonna get dialed in by both but i really want to get this car on the dyno for you guys i want to show you how much power this is going to make now my thought was around 600 but i think that's a little too high to be honest i think we're going to make around 550 to 570 if we make anything to 550 to 570 i'm a happy guy absolutely happy guy i think we could do it ported holly high ram you know the stage three cam we i am gonna upgrade the headers to two inch those will give us an extra 10 to 15 horsepower which is pretty big so like i said i really want to get this on a dyno for you guys and show you how much it makes because everybody asks me how much power how much power and you know i'm not sure I was hoping 600 after a little bit more research like i said 550 to 570 is where i think i'm at you got to remember this car does not weigh a lot i think it weighs 3700 with me in it which is not a lot at all so you think about that it's like 34 something i'm a big guy you know I'm, i gotta i'm gonna lose some weight i swear but uh that is not bad imagine me losing some weight me losing like 80 pounds this car is gonna be 3600 pounds I can still get rid of some stuff. Oh yeah, this car next year, because this year, I mean, it's not over yet, but it's almost over. So now, you know what? Let's give you, let's give you a startup. This is a warm start. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a cold start. So stick around for that. And maybe we'll give you a little bit of revs and such, so.
stuff around here, but I'm going to give you guys a few reps. So I want to know what you guys think of the video and what you think of the car. The car's not done yet. I wanted to give you wide open throttle pulls, all that, but everybody kept asking me for a video, so I had to get this video out. I'm not disappointed in this car. I spent a lot of money. We're going to get to the nines. We're going to be, hopefully, my goal is 10-3 right now. I think 10-3 is very possible. That's a quick quick car now once we get some ported heads we will be probably in the nines for sure and some new tires obviously ported heads will be coming so let me update you on my mod list so my mod list is rotofab holly high ram one in seven eight texas speed headers we got the catch can we got the uh the underdrive pulley down there we got the stage three cam with the springs with the lifters all that we also got a trans tune now which i haven't been able to even use but i can tell you now this thing revs out to 7k which before it was like 6300 which is just crazy we also have a stall the exhaust is dumped we're on e85 so we are actually a full bolt-on cam stall car the only thing we're missing from this are ported heads that's the only thing the uh my my porter my tuner pre performance is very backed up very backed up with heads so i couldn't get ported heads from them so i think i'm gonna go with texas speed heads i don't run a room too much i'm thinking maybe black friday i heard they got really really good deals so if you can leave a comment down below like this video subscribe to this channel because you're gonna see a bunch of content with this car we're just getting started today's tuesday this car is going on the dyno friday i'm hoping i'm hoping by saturday is an event called anarchy and they grudge race at the end of the event i'm hoping to get this car out we're going to be recording we're going to be some seeing some big money races big money races so like i said stay tuned appreciate all the support lately man the videos are going crazy absolutely crazy we're getting a thousand views almost on every video that's just Thanks to you guys, I was, I'm able to do this. Now, I'm not saying thanks because I make a lot of money because I don't make any money off this, really. But we're starting to grow very well. You know, the subs are coming, the views are coming, and that's that motivates me so much, you know? So, like I said, if you guys enjoy the build, thank you guys so much for all the support. Any questions you have, leave a comment. I always answer. Any questions you got, you can leave a comment, or you could DM me on instagram i always answer everybody's question always have no problem helping people out i feel pretty knowledgeable about the camaros now usually when i get onto a car i learn pretty quickly so whatever you guys got questions with you want me to help you with tuning tuners who you think you should go to you let me know this build's looking great the vms vms are looking sweet my goal is to have this car down at texas 2k and be gapping people I went last year, I was slow. This year, we're gonna be a little bit faster. So, once again, guys, thank you all for the support. Have a good one.
Damn, that car looks nasty. Watch out, buddy. There's a truck coming. All right, guys, this is the cold start you've been waiting for. Here we go.